of the night, Monday night, is joining us right now. Please make him welcome, Jared Hayne. <laughs> Jared, you've got a couple of fans just over there. Wow, <laughs> gone nuts, the girls over there. Hello. Now, um, do you know them? Uh, no, no. You will by the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> back to you're, you're back to your best sort of form. You're playing five eighth, and you seem to be enjoying it. Yeah, I think I'm getting a bit more comfortable there. You know, enjoying it a bit more. I was a bit worried at the start, and you know. Trialing it in um, in 09 sort of didn't work out to the best, yeah. but um, I think I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm a bit more. A bit more mature, a bit more older, and um, feel comfortable sort of directing the boys around. No, yeah. like the last three weeks, I mean, two one-point defeats, and then the other night you had them done and dusted. Yeah, I know it's um, you know we just sort of struggling for answers. You know, we we can yeah, get a lead, but we just can't hold it. Um, I think the hardest thing is because you know the, the boys are putting in. It's not you know effort or, or, or laziness or anything like that. You know, the boys are are working hard, putting in, but we're yeah. just not getting the result. But <clears throat> As a 5'8", do you see your role as a ball player now or a runner? Do, where do you, what do you think you're better suited as, as a footballer? I guess probably a bit more ball playing you know, as a 5'8", than, uh, than a fullback. So, um, but I guess, you know, it's, it's what, what I see, whether you know, I run it or, or, or ball play. Yeah. Yeah. Bertie does a good job there, compliment. He's, he's a great fullback, Bertie, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's really smart as well. Mm. So, you know, he helps me out. It helps the... The other halves out as well, so um, you know it's good to have him at the back. Mate, the one thing different, like the attack's sort of the same, really, isn't it? That you're playing before at fullback. In defence, how have you found it? Is it? Do you find it easier having people around you and not being isolated like it was at fullback? Um, yeah, I think so. You know, I, I, that was probably the major concern was the, the defence. You know, fullback is more the, the long runs and just um, <laughs> just sort of a bit different than the up, up and back sort of thing. So. It's something that um, you know I've, I probably enjoyed and uh, didn't realise that uh, you know I'd enjoy it as much. Hey, you, do you find yourself fatiguing at all? Um, probably not as quick. Because yeah. um, <laughs> the hemi seem to be shortening up. I mean, <laughs> just up and back, up and back. So um, yeah, um, probably just the speed. Mate, what yeah, about but... your no try the other night? Can you take us through what what happened there? Did you lose your bearings or something or what? Yeah, I I, I just kept thinking it was um, the winger chasing me. I'm thinking, you know, I, I was blown by the end of it, and um, I thought he was actually going to catch me then I seen the replay and it was Maurice Blair so if I'd known I was him I probably would have stayed in a little bit more. Yeah. But you knew you knew you dropped the ball didn't you? I mean you could see just by your reaction you knew that you'd bombed it. Yeah I said it straight away you know I felt like I slipped out of my hand but then watching the replay and um, it looked like I had you know a little bit of connection to the ball and I mm. thought you know they've given tries like that before so I was a little bit confident but um, it wasn't to be. Did you feel bad? Yeah, I did for about two minutes and I sat at the next try, so I was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Did Kate say anything to you? Sorry? Did Kate say anything to you about that? No, I think the boys are sort of chipping me up about it, but um, yeah, no, it was all right. Well, it's good to have you on the show. You are back to form, but we've... We're very happy because you've brought along a very special guest tonight and it's a first time interview for the show. Uh, we haven't seen him before. He's normally very shy, but he wants to come on tonight and have a chat. Please make him welcome. Fooey, fooey, moi, moi. How are you going? How are you going? <laughs> uh, Hi, Fooey Fooey. Now, you've played for going? Parramatta for a number of uh, seasons now. What does playing for the Eels mean for you? Oh, of course, yes. Um, I really just want to say thanks to the Parramatta Eels <laughs> uh, because, yes, I'm very, that's a good club and I'm very happy. So, thanks. Thank you. Yes. Fooey, you're one of the most intimidating players in the game. Is there a player that intimidates you? Oh, well, you know. Um, it's all come off to the to the paramedics eel and what does they do for me, you know? Mm. So thanks for that. Yeah. So thanks. <laughs> hey Phil, do you have any nicknames? You know, Jared has the Hain plane, Hain train, what do you got? Oh mate, I'm I'm actually glad that you uh, bring that off because uh, <laughs> I come off with this nickname ages long time ago, probably three weeks. Uh, <laughs> and wait for it, I come off I say the steam train. Because when a steam train is uh, coming towards you, you oh, get off the way, you know? <laughs> so, uh, and then this guy, he's called Jared Hainsey, he say, oh, I like that name, I'll say the Hain train. I say, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So he gets scared because you don't want to, you know, muck around with a big boy, you know, like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he changed his name to the Hain Plain. Fui, that's do why. You, do you have any rituals? Ah, well, it's just, uh, you know, he's come back to do the paramedics ill. <laughs> uh, and, um, yeah, so thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. Are you glad you came on tonight, Philly? Oh, it's, um, you know, I can't say much, you know. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. You think you've got it? You owe everything to the Parramatta Reels, do you think? I think um, you could say that, uh, Daryl Berman. <laughs> um, so, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the question, too. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> Mate, the real Fooey Fooey's going to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Shane Shackleton. <laughs> Anyway, look, um, the Rabbitohs do take on the Eels. It's our Monday night game this week, and uh, it should be a good one. Seriously, can you win a game somewhere? This could be it. Wow. <laughs> on fire. Oh, Rabbitohs are the favourite. Rabbits, I mean, they were pretty ordinary the first 20 minutes the other day, but after that, they, they completely outplayed the Dragons. Yeah, they were fantastic. They're playing but they, really they, good. They did have a bit of luck go their way. I mean, yeah. a couple of the kicks went to hand and yeah. the one that Morris missed and whatever. But, but in saying that, they did come back well. But, mate, the first 20 was very poor. I yeah. think Parramatta will beat them. I think they're over the odds, Parramatta. I think they're a terrific uh, chance. Big Dave Taylor back. Yeah, he's uh, he'd be short of a run, I think. Big Dave, wouldn't he? <laughs> I mean, he, he, he surely would blow up over <laughs> summer, so. wouldn't he? He'd have he to put 20 so. kilos on over summer, Dave, wouldn't he? I tell you a story about Dave in Brisbane. We used to have to weigh in every session, and <laughs> David's him and Greg Eastwood would sneak in early, and they'd get coasters and set it on so that it was like the scales were on an angle because it weighs you less. So they'd <laughs> weigh, yeah, they'd weigh in about 118, and then they'd take it out, and Dave would be 126. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You so, should remember that next time. I will. Uh, <laughs> at Jenny Craig. I use time. it all the time when I'm on Jenny Craig. Don't worry about that, Jerry. <laughs> all right, now, boys, the Gillette Fusion uh, Pro Glide. Uh, Jared, you feature in the commercials. Quite good? Yeah, yeah, it was, um, <laughs> it was a good shoot. <laughs> you, use the, you use the, the Pro Glide? Pro Glide, yep, the new razor from Gillette. How does it go? Um, good? Yeah, it's great. It's, uh, How many? It's got about 23 razors in yeah, it. Yeah, something like that. And a battery. Scientific, everything. Here's the ad. <laughs> it was really fun. It was really, a, a really, a really fun day, and um, they've got a uh, some sports reporter, yep. ProGlide summer sports yep, yeah, yeah, reporter yeah. competition going on at the moment. Um, we're going to do that right now, mate. They've teamed mm -hmm. up with Channel Nine, and together we're looking for a smooth summer of sports reporter. Mm. Go to that website, get all the information. Yeah, Darryl? fat. Once again, I've pulled out another <laughs> examples of a not so smooth reporter. Let's have a have a look at this poor gibber trying to do his stuff. We're not fun, Steve, this year. We're not fun, Steve. We're not fun, Steve, this year. We're not fun, Steve, this year. We're not fun, Steve, this year. We're not fun, Steve. We're not fun, Steve, this year. 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 And I still can't say it. Oh, anyway, uh, so that's yeah. Go to that competition. It looks a good one. You can be a sports reporter and on this show even. Um, go to that website there and uh, away you go. I know oh, there's more to do. Yeah, there's there's a, a great prize here. The winner of oh, is it right up. up. You do your bit. Fatty, there's a great prize here. <laughs> really? The winner and a mate will be flown to six of the summer's top sporting events to file their smooth reports. Plus, in the coming weeks, the winner will come along to the footy show to file an exclusive backstage report on the show. So you want to be as smooth as Jared. Get into Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. Excellent work. Yeah. Thanks, Jared. Yeah. Thanks to Philly, Philly Shane. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.